uh, singer-songwriter Amy Sky performing a song from her CD, which is called Cool Rain. Um, and she's married to, you might know this, to a guy. Hold on, we got, here he is. Who is that guy? That's Mark Jordan, another singer-songwriter, um, also Canadian. And he's got a CD called Cool Jam Black Earth. A little bit different. They've got these dueling, well, not really dueling careers going in one household, I suppose, uh, back in Canada. They lived in L.A. for 13 years or something like that and decided this ain't no place to raise a family. And they've got two children and living back here. Nice to see you both. Nice to be here. Now, I know you moved back now. It's a couple of years. Was it the right thing to do? Are you glad you came or did you think, oh, well, maybe we should go back. Maybe it's warmer. Maybe it's better. Well, we didn't come back for the weather. That's for sure. <laughs> are, we, are we glad we came back? I'm, I'm, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I mean, I, uh, I, I was in L.A. for 13 years. Amy was only there for, what, seven. six or seven? Yeah. So I was, uh, I was ready to come back. And then when we had our children, we realized that this was a much better place to raise them. We wanted to raise them as Canadians, and, and we wanted them to grow up. Yeah, we wanted them to, to live to, <laughs> to grow live. up. Yeah. Yeah. And which, which is great, and you're pleased with that. Yes, yeah. You know, you know what, and we, I think we were maybe a little worried that, that the music business um, wasn't as developed here as it, as it is in the States, but it's been great for us since we came back. I, yeah. I really can't complain. I mean, and much less complain. I'm thrilled about uh, my career since I've moved back to Canada. Well, you've kind of, you've blo <laughs> boomed or blossomed yeah. or something. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 but I don't know. Is it, is it just the time you talked about when you were 30 and you yeah. gave birth to your daughter? Yeah. That, you that was a still boom in a and bad, a blossom. But you were in a, a bad space there yeah. and sort of yeah. feeling insecure, not it quite. It was hard. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's very difficult for, for many women uh, to, to decide to carry on with a career after you have children. And in my case, since I hadn't managed to release uh, a CD before I'd had kids, even though I'd had a lot of people record my songs, it was a really big, uh, really big jump, and uh, Canada has supported that jump with a safety net and open arms. So there's a cross-country tour starting. Yes, starting uh, April 30th out west, all the big western cities. And you fell into Blood Brothers. I mean, no, you Mark, obviously Mark pushed me in. I didn't fall in. It was but all that his was fault. sort of just something that you hadn't planned on being That's in right. that at the Royal Alex with Michael Burgess and David Cassidy. Now, what about you? Do you sort of go, oh, honey, you've been supportive and terrific. She calls you her mentor, and now you sort of go, what do you, what do you mean you're going on a cross-country tour? <laughs> I mean, there have got to be times when you think, well, I do think it's a swell idea and all that, but... Yeah. We're on national television, darling. Don't be honest. <laughs> Tell the truth. Now, <laughs> no, Mark, this I'm is your moment. totally delighted she's leaving. How long are you going for? <laughs> Ten days. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, I can deal with the kids, you know. I, I, it's actually nice when she's out of the house. I get to be the boss. That's right. He, he runs a tight ship. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what about you and your work and how, how that's gone since you've moved back? And well, it's about the same. I'm mostly writing, and, uh, and that's what I was doing in, uh, in Los Angeles. I, 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 get to, I get to play here, which, uh, up in Canada, which I never did in the States. I never, I never went out and played live. So uh, that's something I missed, and I get to do that in Canada. But I can still do my... I can, you know... That's the great thing about being a songwriter is you can do it from anywhere now. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do it from Inuvik if you wanted to. Well, you could. You'd be yeah. even chilly, a but little, <laughs> little chilly. Inuvik's a great place. Do you get the same satisfaction writing songs for other people? And I don't know how that works. I mean, both of you have written songs for, you know, Diana Ross, Cher, Kenny Loggins, David Hasselhoff, <laughs> I see on yeah. your list of credits. <laughs> the Baywatch guy. That's right. Yeah. Or do you think I, I, you're I never, I never write. I never actually. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've, I, I do occasionally, but I, I don't normally write for another person. I usually just try to write a great song. And I think bo both of us um, use our own records as the as the focal point for our motivation, our inspiration. And uh, you write a lot of songs when you're trying to, to to pick twelve for a record, and we just give the leftovers to whoever. Wants them. Second no, artist. the way I think the, 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 the way to write a great song. <laughs> hey, Diane, I've got a leftover for you. No, no, three no, no. It's, it's always something yeah. that you. Yeah. The, the the way we write it is, or, or the way I write for sure is 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 I always think of this. This is a song that I would I would want to sing myself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I know it's a, it's it's a good song.
Well, good luck on the tour. You start west Thank and you're you. gone for... Yes. Uh, have you told them how long you're actually gone for? Uh, I played this well, game myself, <laughs> Amy. Ten days, that's it. The Olympics will only be a couple of days. <laughs> I have it in writing. It's ten days. Vancouver, Edmonton, Saskatoon, Winnipeg. Mark Jordan and Amy Skye are both here. Both singer-songwriters. You know their work. It's been done. They've got CDs out. So oh, hang them up, hold them up, you guys. All right. You both, are these Here, both new ones? You can ones? hold mine and I'll hold mine. Your kids, do they march around with them in their knapsacks and just say, perhaps you've heard the latest from my father? <laughs> what, so you both got cool in there. Cool Jam Black Earth and Cool Rain. Yeah. Right. It was a, that, that was a coincidence. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> sort of great I used alike. cool and you can't have yeah. cool. <laughs> we share, we share everything. We share words. Yeah. And you, do you have different rooms that you write in or do you do it together? Different, different rooms. That's why we are still married. We you sleep have... together, <laughs> Usually. but we have different rooms we work in, don't we? We do, darling. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we have the kitchen. We meet in the middle for coffee, and I'm on the third floor on the top, and he's on the first floor in the back. And, and I think that's the secret to our success. People say, how do you manage to live together and, uh, and, and be in the same profession and get along? And I think we keep things real separate. We keep, the, we keep the important things together, but the work separate. Do you ever really want to know what you think of the other's work? Yeah. Yeah, we often. Uh, yeah. If I get stuck, I I run a, you know, run a, an idea past Amy, and she does the same. Yeah, same. Mark's and we are uh, brutally truthful. Yeah. Too. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Mark is a great song doctor. Some people have a great skill where they can just see, you know, the the elements of something mm -hmm. and say, well, no, that should be there and that should be there. And and uh, Mark has very good editing skills. Do you ever feel like you're losing it? Losing what? Uh, well, your your like ability, to lose your some touch. <laughs> no, but your touch. Because it is one of those pretty ephemeral things that you could become incredibly insecure yeah. very like quickly. You, you, I'm not baby you, you face. You lose it, you yeah. get you know? it back. Yeah. You lose it, you get it back. You get frightened, then you get yeah. strong again. I, you know, it, writing is fear and nausea yeah. for me. Every time you sit there in front of a blank page or, or a blank keyboard, it's, it's scary. Yeah. And but, sometimes but, you, you, see, you come up with something good, sometimes you don't. I think you, you start to understand the cycle. There's a cycle of, of crea creative success and there's a cycle of commercial success too. One year you're in, one year you're out. You just got to hang in there for the long haul. And you got to be who you are because mm -hmm. when you start chasing the cycles, that's when you get into trouble. Mm -hmm. now, tell me about your going on tour. And it's sort of like a, a one woman show that isn't quite a concert. Um, I have a show. I have uh, a show that I do that is like that based on the story of uh, the song I Will Take Care of You. Yeah. And uh, which is a cycle of life from birth, growing up through marriage and death of one's own parent, and birth of one's own children. And uh, I'm, I'm since doing Blood Brothers last summer. I'm much more interested in the dramatic side and the storytelling side of performing, as well as just singing the songs. So is that what you're doing on this concert tour? Or are you doing um, Cool Rain? Cool Rain. A lot of the songs from Cool Rain, yeah, featured in the, in the, in the uh, in the concert. I'll be doing that. So it's not the I will take care of. You. Um, it's it's, Sorry, it's I'm kind just of a, slightly I know, confused here, clearly. I know. Clearly. I'm trying to, yeah. I try not to con confuse him. <laughs> Come back to us. Come back. Mark, maybe you can just intervene. <laughs> I have no here. idea. You understand, what you guys or you know I, what you're no talking idea. about. The, the show that you're talking about um, is is uh, one that I do uh, with my full band, and I won't be taking my full band on the road, but I'll be doing highlights of that show. Yeah. How, is, how often have you gone on the road and done a tour like this? Uh, never. This is my first You're ever. Kidding. Well, my first ever continuous like ten day leave market. Well, the what kids are you alone. telling her about it? Have you ever done a whole lot of that? <laughs> Absolutely, you did I did. tons I of that. To, yeah. Particularly support my, my you know, Marina Del Rey. My early, and... my early albums, I, I went out for long periods of time. Yeah. And I hope. Uh, no, I won't be doing that. No. I hope you. Yeah. No, no, not without taking the the family caravan. Yeah, but uh, I've I've been doing like you know one or two nights, a lot of those. But this is the first extended swing. And, uh, so yeah. why are you doing that? Is this a brave move? Well, you know, I think you have to. I mean, I've been doing stuff that's been in Ontario, Quebec, and now I've got to go to Western Canada. It's a big country. And uh, oh, you'll be so happy, a sight for sore eyes, to be in Vancouver oh, in the that's, west and yeah, this see some green. Yeah, it'll yeah. be it'll be gorgeous. And uh, yeah, and that's just part of part of the the business of putting a record out is getting out there and and letting people across the country know about but, it. But you know. The, it, it, we do go away, but, <laughs> but, but the nice thing is that we work at home. Mm -hmm. So when we're home, we're kind of yeah. really home. You know? Really yeah. home. We and how old are the kids? Six and three. Oh. And we have a big extended family, which is another reason we moved back to Toronto. Yeah. And they pitch in and, and help. You had a big dinner last night, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you. <laughs> well, that's great. Nice to see you both. Nice to nice see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you.